Okay, this is uh, just a short do it this way kind of tutorial. Uh, we'll start off with a new document, and the first thing we'll do is go to a solid color. And we want a hue of 230, saturation of 86%. And a brightness of 38%. Okay. Now we want to double click on the layer here. And we're going to go to Pattern Overlay. And we're going to click Disclosure Triangle. And we're going to look for the pattern called Loose Threads. right here um, okay we want to change the opacity to 25% and the blend mode to hard light okay okay the next thing we want to do is create a new layer and we want to add a gradient map to this layer. In uh, CS4 you can just click this icon right here. When you mouse over it says gradient map up here, right there. Okay. And you click on the gradient icon there. And for the first stop, double click on this and um, type in 230. 246. Type in 246. Um, 93. 35. Okay. Hold down the option key. Click on this and drag it out to 20%. And you just basically duplicated that and dragged it out to 20%. Click out here and add a new stop. And you want it at about 27%. Just right right there. Double click on it. And this is going to be kind of a beach color. So we want um, 31. 53. And 99. Hold down the option key. Click on this and drag that out to about 34%. Go out here and add another stop. We want this one at about 38%. Right about there. Double click on it. And this one is going to be 100, 77, and 78. Okay. Hold down the option key, click on this, and drag this out to 83%. Double click on it. I'm going to change this value to 56. This one to 93. And this one to 71. Okay. And then this little... Um, color midpoint controller we click on it and drag it in to about 5% right there okay so what we have here is uh, where the image is dark they'll have a C color and it'll move up into a beach color then into landscape uh, going towards more cold regions uh, the landscape will kind of yellow out a little bit uh, sort of a yellow brown here and then go into a snow cap for uh, elevations okay that's the explanation of the gradient uh, you want to create a new gradient here if you're going to do this more than once put custom terrain click new and save it to your palette I already have one here so I'm not going to do it again 
um, okay to accept that. And you can hold down the option key. If this isn't attached, uh, if this isn't linked to the layer below it, to the visibility of the layer below it, hold down the option key. Get this little double circle cursor and click the mouse and attach it to whatever is drawn in here. And then you can just turn it off for now. Okay, what we want to do is add a mask, go to filter, render clouds, and then we want to go to click on the main layer, go to filter, render clouds. Um, now click back on the mask, hold down the option key and click on it. And that will just give you what the the mask luminosities are. And so while you have that selected, hit Command L, call up the layers, and you want to just create more highs and more lows. So uh, we're going to wherever it's black here will be a C color, wherever it's white, or the grays and the whites are going to come up into landscapes and peaks. So, depending on how much land you want, you just control your midpoints. Uh, we can get in and modify this with a paintbrush later. That's pretty good. Click OK. And turn the gradient map back on. Alright. OK. Uh, select this gradient map layer, and we're going to intensify the landscape a little bit so we're going to add a levels click here if you don't have CS4 you can go down here and add the levels from here right here but since we have CS4 here we just go to levels all right we're going to pull this all the way over we're going to solidify this land up some here and do this. All right. On top of that, we're going to adjust the saturation a little bit. Uh, what'd you do with the chicken? Back off the saturation some. Okay, we're going to come back to this layer and double click on it. Call it the layer styles. We need Bevelin and Boss going to change the depth to 31%, change the size to 65 pixels, the angle to 48, the height to 10, okay, uh, need anti-aliased. I'm going to switch the lighting mode to hard light 100%. Hard light 100%. Chisel soft. Click on the contour. Adjust it to 66%. Going to add a pattern overlay. Set the mode to color burn. 61%. We want stucco number four. There it is. And take the scale up to 465%. And we'll add a drop shadow. Multiply 75%, 55, five, and 48. Uh, go back to the levels. And adjust these settings to personal taste. 